just down the road from the biggest rice producer in the world, may be the biggest source of hope in Arkansas. The cash register at the Valero One Stop. We do sell quite a bit of, of winning tickets. This morning we've had a, a $200 winner off of a $2 ticket, and a lady came in with a $3 Powerball and won $25 off of it. The One Stop has earned its reputation. This is where a Texas couple won $177 million a couple years ago. And people come here looking for their own huge payday. I have customers from Elmira, from DeWitt. You know, we have people even from St. Charles. The One Stop is one of a handful of lucky stores around the state known for delivering big prizes. But lottery officials want to dispel that myth. People want to believe, you know, oh, there's a lucky store or there's a lucky town. The truth is more people buy tickets in more heavily populated areas and that's where pe more people win tickets because more people are buying them. Despite what the math says should happen, the odds of finding a big winner are much higher in some cities than others. Some of the biggest cities in Arkansas have similar rates of producing $100,000 prize winners. But Stuttgart produces three times as many per capita as all of them. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy in a way because a lot more people buy tickets from what they think are lucky stores and so more people win and they think, oh, well, they're lucky, so they keep going. And it, you know, it makes sense, but it's, it's all surrounded by a sort of myth. Donna Bragg with the Arkansas Scholarship Lottery assures that winners are distributed randomly. But that doesn't stop players from holding on to their superstitions. We have one guy, and when he looks at the ticket, if it has like the white line at the bottom, he'll say it's lucky or it's not. Or We have one guy, he'll hold the ticket up and drop it. If it flops over, then it's got money on it for him. The trick that actually works, though? Going to the lottery website which posts real-time updates about prize winners. Real savvy players will check the website before they decide what tickets they want to buy because they can see, oh, well, that ticket still has $3 million winners out there, so I'm going to go try to find that ticket. When they do, it will probably be at a store with a sign like this. It takes money to make money, and stores that advertise more are likely to sell more tickets and more big winners. So I don't know if it's luck or if it's just good business. David Lippman, THV 11 News.